Hey folks, I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching my video. Today I'm going to show you real quick how to change a fuel filter on your lawnmower. Let's get started. Now this particular mower is a Husqvarna YTH 22V46. Yours may be a little different, but the fuel filter is right here on the left side. It's easier if you take this cowling out. It's got a little plastic pin on the bottom. Mine's fallen out because the tractor is several years old. So, uh, but once you pull that out, you just lift it up and it comes right out. Set that off to the side. Then you can get to your uh, your fuel filter. You're gonna need a new filter. Um, I've got a pack of two. Most all of these are the same. They're fairly universal, but you may still want to uh, be sure that you have the right one for yours because they're not all identical. There will be an arrow. I'll try my best to show that to you. On the filter itself. This one's pointing that way. That's the direction the fuel flows to the engine. So your tank is gonna be on this side and your engine's gonna be on this side. You're gonna, it's the direction that the fuel flows to get to the engine. So you need to be aware of that before you uh, put the new one on. Now, in addition to the filter, you're gonna need a couple of rags. You don't have to be oil rags, just some kind of rag. You're gonna need a, a regular pair of pliers or needle nose pliers and you're gonna need at least two pair of locking pliers. It doesn't really matter what size you use. Um, that's a five inch, that's a 10 inch, um, doesn't matter. But uh, you're gonna need two pairs of locking pliers. If you don't have locking pliers, you can do it with a regular set of pliers. You're just gonna need somebody else probably to hold that closed for you while you change the filter out. So what I'll do is I'll take a rag, double it over itself a couple of times so you got basically four thicknesses or so of the rag. Put that on one side of the fuel line. I'll adjust my locking pliers so that it crimps the, the line without completely crushing it. You, all you're trying to do is stop the flow of fuel. Um, you want to leave yourself about an inch or so of space here for this clamp. So come back, you know, about, about an inch there, about an inch and a half. That way you don't have a whole lot of fuel to leak. And like I say, just adjust your pliers so that you're squeezing the line shut without cranking down on it. Because what you don't want to do is, is um, damage the fuel line, but you want to cut off the flow of fuel so you don't have to worry about so much of a mess. <clears throat> if it's in a clip, just pull it out of the clip like that and that one and get it up out of your way. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna stick that right there. Pull that back far enough. Adjust my pliers, you know, about like so. You probably, you probably end up about half the width of the DOD of the um, fuel line to get it right, thereabouts. <clears throat> Maybe a little less. That'll do it. Set that rag right there to catch the fuel. Turn this around where you can get to the ears on the clamp. Take your pliers and just squeeze that clamp and pull it back like so. Work that out of there. You can see it'll start coming out and you want to be careful so you don't fling gas in your eyes or anything you'll have a little bit possibly that'll drain out of there not much in that one same thing on the other end take that clamp off pull it back you can just move it up the hose and leave it there it's fine just kind of work it out and then when it gets to the near the end you see then you're going to get some you're gonna get some fuel out. That's what the rag is for. The fuel filter will be full of gas, so you know it's gonna it's gonna drain gas on you, which is why I'm wearing gloves because I don't like the smell of gas on my hands. <clears throat> but it's gonna it's gonna drain fuel out on you. Once you catch all that, you're not gonna get just a little bit out of the fuel line because you got it clamped off. So all right, good to go there. Take your new filter, and again. 
be aware of the direction of the arrow. I don't think you can see it on the camera, but this arrow is pointing that way. So it's gonna go in like so. Pop it in there. Pop it in there, make sure your hoses come all the way up. Take your pliers, adjust that clamp back where it goes. Same thing over here. Make sure they're seated. They're fine. So now you can take your locking pliers off. Put your line back in the, uh, the clips that hold it. And good to go. Now what you'll find is when you go to crank it or go to start it, it's going to take it a little bit extra time to start because you're going to have to fill this filter with fuel and then get it to the engine. So uh, it will take a, a touch longer. Thanks for watching my video, folks. I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you would. Subscribe down below. I hope to see you back soon. Take care and God bless you.